All right. Hello, hello, and happy Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't know why I cannot like be 100% sure what day it is unless I check the watch. I think I'm becoming way too reliant on this thing. <laughs> Anyways, I was about to get into my shoulder workout, but I wanted to check in super quick because yesterday was one month out from the NPC universe and I checked in yesterday. So it was one month out and I checked in and I weighed in at 125.6. same as my stage weight for North Americans so like I have a comparison shot that I I don't know why I pointed that way maybe I'll be able to do some cool editing thing but <laughs> like a comparison shot of me at that same weight and like my glutes my glutes for one they look like they're there like my legs are so much more tone and tighter although I still need to come in a little bit um I just, it's just so cool to see myself at the same weight and see that progress and also know that I'm at stage weight. I'm at stage weight and I'm a month out. Like, that's amazing. And so that, what else? Shoulders? What else? Registered for all of my shows? What else? I don't know. This is such a crazy week. Um, But I now train shoulders twice a week and I train glutes twice a week. So I want to just document that because... The, because I'm doing it twice a week, the circuits change a little bit. So this one is more low volume. I'm really working on the overall size of my arms. I sneak a little biceps in there. And then on my high volume day later in the week, it's just like my classic shoulder circuit, you know, really just getting that pump, that oof, that yum yum that you want for bikini. So I'm going to get this workout in. I've been talking long enough. Probably going to edit most of this out. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. <laughs> Ooh. 
happy Friday. Today is October 16th. We are officially four weeks out from NPC Universe. And that is exciting. It is scary. It is... there. I'm like, what? I only have 28 more days? 28 more days of prep? Maybe. But like, that is such a small number. Um... But yeah, this week, this week has been really, really tough for me emotionally. It's really hard for me to be away from the positive influences of Pittsburgh. Like my friends and my boyfriend and my cat and like people who believe in me, people who believe in my bodybuilding dream. And so I've been going through a lot of transition in life and I needed to take some time away to isolate and to sort things out. But now the isolation is starting to drain me rather than feed me. So it's time to go back to Pittsburgh. Um, but before I do, I wanted to update you guys. I just checked in with my coach today and my weight did go up. It did go up a pound, but I know why. You know, my weight tends to go up and I tend to hold on to a lot of water when I'm stressed. Yesterday, I was very emotionally stressed. I probably cried more water than I drank. And because of that, like my whole body was out of whack. I woke up feeling thirsty, tired, just like bleh. Um, It took a lot of energy for me to even do my posing videos for check-in. Um, and I'm still just now getting my energy for the day and it's like two o'clock. And that's not normal for me. I'm usually up and going 8 a.m. But like, yeah, I barely ate yesterday. I barely worked out yesterday. Like I, I know what I did to my body. So the fact that, okay, there was a pound increase from Tuesday to now, I know it's water. I know it's stress. I know the second that I get back to Pittsburgh and I chill out, my body will start to tighten back up again. Um, and I really love my shape right now. You know, I think my legs need to come down a little bit more, but my glutes look good, shoulders look good, my waist, my waist. I don't know if it's posing, I don't know if it's waist training, I don't know what it is, but I love the way my waist looks right now, especially from the front. Um, there's definitely some stuff I need to fix on my posing in the back. I feel like the way I was posing before is now making my quads a little too dominant and making my legs not look as lean as they are. Cause I feel like they are lean, but when I pose, eh, my, my, my quads are spilling over. So I gotta figure out like foot spacing things and whatnot. But luckily I have a posing call with my coach tomorrow. So by the end of the week, I will have all those kinks sorted out and I will have the right posing for this physique. Cause as my physique changes, the way that I wanna angle things and pose is different. So the way that I was posing at 130 is not looking good at like 125, 126. Like it really is that specific. At a certain point, the sport is a bit subjective and it is about the whole package. So you wanna constantly be improving how you present your whole package, improve how you present your hair, your makeup, your skin, your posing, and your physique it is everything so i just want to make sure that all those things are on point because honestly there's a lot i saw in north americans that i wanted to work on um from hair to makeup to tan i mean i think my tan looked good but like there are a lot of things that i want to tweak i want to push up a bit more and have the physique to do it so as you noticed <laughs> she started wearing makeup again because i have to practice cat eyes <laughs> I can't just like do it for the first time in a month on show day. No, it'll stress me out. I'll be like cleaning it off 50,000 freaking times, you know. So I have to practice my makeup, hair. I gotta make sure I have enough tan. I gotta practice posing consistently more. So like I'm happy to be getting back to the gym and back to the mirrored rooms and the posing. Um, there's just, yeah. Now that my physique is coming in, I also need to remember that bikini is about more than the physique. All right, I don't know if I'm going to check back in again this week just because it's pretty busy. I now have to pack, get ready to fly back to Pittsburgh tomorrow, 
make sure I get all my workouts in, get a posing call. In. Like there's a lot. So uh, I want to be gentle with myself and not add the pressure of vlogging. So I think I might just leave it here. Um, yeah. But I want to thank you guys for watching this week and every week. Um, thank you for liking, for subscribing, for commenting, for sharing it with people, for, for commenting on my Instagram afterwards. Like all of it makes me feel so loved, especially when I'm feeling like crap like I did yesterday. Like some of you guys literally, you don't know, you like picked me up off the ground. Like I can sense positive energy, even if you aren't liking stuff, even if you're just watching the video, like I, every view makes me feel supported and loved in this mission. Every like, every comment, every, every, even if you didn't watch sometimes, you know, just knowing that you may want it to, or that you, just that you're rooting for me. Knowing that people are rooting for me, I'm gonna get emotional, but like knowing that other people are rooting for me makes this all worth it. It makes the stress, it makes all the negative comments, it makes everything worth it. <laughs> Sorry. So I just wanted to thank you guys for that. And the next time I see you, I will be back to my happy self in Pittsburgh.